Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on multiplication tables. The above diagram represents the multiplication grid up to and including the 12 times tables. It is absolutely crucial for every student in grade 4 to know these tables very well. That means being able to automatically recite each table in order and at random. By that I mean, let's say you're doing the six times tables, let's say you're doing that. You should be able to go six ones are six, six twos are twelve, six threes are eighteen, six fours are twenty-four, six fives are thirty, six sixes are thirty-six, etc. Or you should be able to go Six twos are twelve, six eights are forty-eight, six fours are twenty-four, six elevens are sixty-six. That's what I mean by in order and at random. You'll notice here there's a diagonal and the numbers here, each of the little squares or rectangles are coloured an orange colour. That just means that the numbers are multiplied by each other. So eight, see the eight? That's eight times eight, which is eight squared. That's all that means. If you look at the 12, there's the orange colour, there's the 12. 12 times 12 is 144. So that's all that means, that the same number is multiplied by itself. 2 times 2, 3 times 3, and that gives you the orange answer. When you think of it, the job is made easier by virtue of the fact that 3 times 5 equals 5 times 3. So if we look here, 3 times 5, there's the answer there, 15. See that? Let's look at 5 times 3. 5 times 3, that's also 15. Okay? So basically, it just makes our job a lot easier. This is the case for all tables. We can change the order of the two digits and the answer is the same. Multiplication and division. While the table to the left highlights multiplication, it has a very special connection with division. Let us explore this further on the next slide. Linking multiplication and division. Consider 5 times 6 equals 30. It automatically follows that 6 times 5 equals 30. We've already seen that you can swap those around and still get the same answers. Now from there to there, it naturally follows that 30 divided by 5 equals 6. That is 5 divides into 30 6 times. And it also follows that 30 divided by 6 equals 5. That is 6 divided into 30 equals 5. We can see from the above number sentences that multiplication and division are inverse operations. That is a very, very important rule and we need to remember it for the rest of our mathematical career. This is an extremely useful fact because once we know our multiplication tables well, the important link between multiplication and division means that simple division sums can also be mastered and recited easily. Let's do a simple example. 3 times 6 equals 18. No problems. It follows that 18 divided by 6 equals 3. It also follows that 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So once you know that, which is your tables, it could be your 3 times tables if you're doing 3 times 6, or it could be the 6 times tables if you're doing 6 times 3. Those two automatically follow. So you can see the link between multiplication and division. Children should be given opportunities to link times tables with real life situations. In that way, they can see the relevance of times tables. Hence, they are more likely to learn them. Example 1. There are six students in the class 
and each of them owns five marbles. How many marbles are there altogether? Now the solution. Now there are six students, remember? Each of them owns five marbles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the same as six times five. Six lots of five, that gives you 30 marbles. So there's a perfect example of how we use times tables. Example two, 40 pencils are shared equally between eight students. How many pencils does each student receive? Well, 40 shared among eight means 40 divided by eight. That gives you five pencils. So each student gets five pencils. Now following on from this, remember what we saw earlier? 5 times 8 equals 40, and 8 times 5 equals 40. So there's the link between division and multiplication. Example 3. Three students each have 5 marbles, and 7 students each have 6 marbles. What is the total number of marbles? 3 times 5 plus 7 times 6. 3 fives are 15, 7 sixes are 42. 42 plus 15 is 57. So there are 57 marbles in total. So I urge you strongly, do whatever you can, please, to learn your times tables automatically and confidently. It will open up a whole new world for you when it comes to mathematics. Things become a lot easier.